this is Absorbing Man. He has a signature ability that allows him to get up to 40% longer Omnimorph form potency, and he also has a regeneration passive, which is mostly for defense. And then you have this stuff, so critical penetration. Generally, critical hits ignore 80% of resistances, but in his case, he only ignores 60. And he is immune to armor break, and additionally, he has 20% crit resistance as well. He reduces his duration of buffs well, for the opponent, and that's for four, to bu four buffs, indestructible and immortality, unstoppable and unblockable, which are four of the more irritating buffs, so that's kind of the theory. Um... Omnimorph forms, he has two forms, he starts in Black Uru, but you can also change it to start in Magma. In Black Uru, which is down here, he is immune to Bleed and Shock, he has a massive physical resistance, and his hits do physical damage. They also deal a burst of physical damage. The second mode is Magma form, he's immune to Incinerate, Cold Snap, and Frostbite, with massive energy resistance, and his hits deal energy damage, and also do a burst of energy damage. In the Refined State, actually, we can just do that now. In a special one Uru form, it's critical hits through block and also the, the damage through block. And then special two magma form is incinerate passives. So pretty standard there. And all you need to know is you're mostly just trying to pause these forms. So when a buff expires, or as you can see when he is immune to a debuff, it pauses for three seconds. And you also get like an extra benefit if that is an armor break. I want to say it's 90 um, yes, so when you are immune to an armor break, you gain 90 charges, and again, you also get the pause, because he's immune to that debuff. Interrupting a basic attack, so that's a heavy, or an intercept, or a medium, uh, yeah, intercept is a medium, but a heavy, a medium, even a stand-up, an intercept at the very beginning of the fight, it pauses for 6 seconds, and it stacks a potency. You're going to see people doing that a lot, because that's how you gain a lot of your charges. Because on top of the fact that it pauses your damage and utility phase, which is obviously important, anytime you throw a special attack, if you can see, where is this, um, on special attacks, you gain charges. So I'm trying to see if there's like the specific text version of what I am looking for. But as you throw a special, it does actually convert the existing duration. So for morph charges, when Absorbing Man refreshes or changes forms, he gains them equal to the percentage of his previous form's base duration. Base duration. So if you have Eye Bomb, which adds 3 seconds, and you have this other lovely Awakened ability, potentially Sigged, you could theoretically be getting over 150 per... Uh, 150 morph charges per special if you're really, really on top of the pause. And the second thing that you can do is you can chain from a heavy. And so chaining from a heavy, here we go. Chaining from a heavy allows you to get 30 morph charges, which is actually really helpful. Um, it also makes the special attack crit a lot more. So if it's in stun the first hit, it's 1800 crit rate. Second one is 19,800 crit rate. And if you can chain from a special, that crit rate will be applied to the entire special. So heavy counter in a special too or special one is generally the strategy. Now, a lot of people want to know, should I be Black Uro and throw a special one? Should I be Magma and throw a special two? In any matchup where utility does not matter, you're going to want to go ahead and do Magma. It's a longer duration. Obviously, it's 18 versus 10. And so in that way, it's a lot better. But the other issue then is because, you know, you've seen all these bonuses and the Magma form... While it does do more damage, because generally you're not hitting blocks, so the refined, you can see these two refined, and the refined benefit is a lot better for the special two if you're not hitting in the block a lot. So in that way, it's better. But it's extremely, extremely, extremely important to note that you're always going to want to be in the mode that gives you the utility that you want. If you're facing someone like Bishop, or Ultron, or Havoc, or Sorcerer Supreme, or someone who has energy resistance or who punishes energy... You throw the special one. It doesn't matter about that small incinerate. Like, it really doesn't. Even if they didn't have any resistance, there was some other reason. You use the mode that you want more. So if it's something like Biohazard, even if you're like, oh, I want the incinerates, you would always go for the bleed immune mode. 
And it's kind of the inverse where if you're looking for some sort of energy resistance, you always want to go for that mode. So it's very important to note, and I think a lot of people know this, but some people might not. The modes are almost identical to the point where it's far and away smarter to always go for utility. Always go for utility, the damage will be there no matter what. The special three is kind of eh. It gives you a damage, critical damage rating increase, which does affect your crits, but also affects the red damage number multiplier, which is kind of cool. And it pauses your state, your form, and it actually refines that form. And it pauses it for 15 seconds. But the way you're really going to see a lot of people, uh, including myself, refine stuff, is you're going to see this medium light medium combo. So performing a medium light medium combo with at least 150 morph charges or special at max charges is going to give you a vulnerability passive of 2200 and if you do it at 600 which is the max you're going to get four of those vulnerability but i mean generally what you're going to want to do in a cheese matchup is just get to 150 from like immunities and whatnot to armor break and or like buffs expiring getting power just throwing specials so if you get if you're throwing special one you start in black you just throw that special you're refined and you want to be pausing and stuff, if you're throwing special two, start in magma, pause a bunch, throw that, you're going to be refined. And if somehow you get the refine before that, just refine immediately for the most part. And then after that, once you're in the rotation, you're not even really using it for the refinement because you're already refined for the most part throughout the fight. You're using it for A, the re-upping of the timer, and B, more importantly, the massive vulnerability. Absorbing Man does have one notable synergy, or two, kind of. Um, his first one is this one with the Thors, which is the second medium attack gives an armor break, so that's armor break utility if you're needing to do that. And the second one that's... Honestly, actually, there's three. Uh, the Sins of the Father is pretty solid. Like, it's not one that I'd bring in specifically, but if, like, you're going to be using Absorbing Man only, it'd be a really helpful one. It's crit rate, which will obviously make you hit a lot harder with a lot more red numbers and other than that his far and away best one just in general actually is the one with immortal abomination not only does it make the omni more forms longer which in and of itself is really freaking good it makes him immune to poison just straight up with no downside so that's definitely the best one and <laughs> i think it's pretty obvious why it allows him to be fully immune to suicides just by starting in black uru uh so I think it's pretty obvious why it allows him to be in fully immune suicide mode just by starting in Black Uru, and it's pretty insane. So now that we've looked at all his abilities, we've looked at all this boring text, I'm going to show you how to play him. So let's get into that. Form pausing light attacks can be done with light intercepts, backdraft intercepts, heavy counters, ricochets, but cannot be paused for special attacks. You can also refine your state with medium light medium combo. If you whiff your heavy, you will not get the critical rate for the entire special attack, while if you land that first hit of your heavy, you will. The special three refines your current form, pauses it for 15 seconds, and provides you with 8,800 critical rate for the duration of that pause. Now here is how you play him in black uru form if that is the mode that you want to play him in. So you can get pauses because the more pause duration you can do, the more morph charges you will get when you convert, as mentioned previously. So I get some lights in, and then I want to get a special one. So I heavy counter with the special one. And now if I want a medium light medium, I can actually do that. Now for the special two rotation, which is magma, make sure to apply the pre-fight if you can and go in that way. So I'm going to start again with an intercept. Don't do this if the opponent can parry, obviously. You want to keep up as much of your duration as possible, so I'm doing backdrafts with lights. I'm also going to be doing heavy counters here, and potentially light intercepts if I see a good opportunity. So here we go, you can see me pausing. I usually just want to pause and then chain into an L2. And that is pretty much how you play him in magma form, which is pretty similar. He's not really wanting to throw this here, so I'm not going to be able to do as well. Get a little light intercept there to pause. I'm not going to be able to get to 150 and get that vulnerability after this special, but it's okay. So here I want to just heavy chain in whatever. I didn't really care about the pause, but I do want to pause as soon as I can. And that is pretty much how you play Absorbing Man in under 10 minutes. So go out and crush content with him. Thank you for watching.